People against nuclear power can count on a new group of high-profile supporters. Nobel Prize-winning author Kenzaburo Oe and composer Ryuichi Sakamoto are looking at legal ways to eliminate nuclear plants. Others in the 21-member association include the mayor of Minamisoma City in Fukushima Prefecture. The National Network for Legislation to Abolish Nuclear Power unveiled their proposals in Tokyo. They're calling for restricting existing nuclear plants to 40 years of operation. They also want to ban the construction of new plants. The measures say all plants should be scrapped between fiscal 2020 and 2025 at the latest. We must not disrupt the lives of people in the next world the next century and the next era. These are our ethics as people of today. Group members will lobby uh, lawmakers and political parties to submit their proposals as a bill during the current Diet session. Prime Minister Noda isn't just listening to ministers, experts and opinion poll data. He's also meeting face to face with some opponents of atomic energy. Noda sat down with temp representatives of citizens groups that are against nuclear power generation. They criticized the government for reactivating two reactors at the Oe plant in central Japan. They said leaders did not learn from the accident at Fukushima Daiichi and did not listen to citizens' opinions. They urged the prime minister to halt the reactors and scrap all of the country's nuclear plants. Noda replied he approved the restart of the Oe facility after confirming its safety. He argued he made the decision for the sake of people's lives, not to benefit certain business groups. Our basic policy is to reduce our dependence on nuclear energy. In the medium to long term, we're aiming to shift the nation's structure, which relies on nuclear power. The citizens' group have been organizing anti-nuclear rallies near the Prime Minister's office every Friday. Former Prime Minister Naoto Khan helped them arrange their meeting with NODA. Former Prime Minister Naoto Khan helped them arrange their meeting with Noda. They know risk posed by radiation and they don't like it. Nearly half of Japanese surveyed by the government say nuclear power generation should stop by the year 2030. Government researchers chose about 280 people at random for talks on Japan's energy dependence. Afterward, they asked participants how much of the power supply should be nuclear in 2030. Almost half said nuclear energy should be completely eliminated. 15% said it should make up a fraction of electricity needs. 13% said nuclear was acceptable for up to a quarter of requirements. The researchers also asked for the most important factor authorities should consider in drafting the new energy policy. Three-quarters of respondents said safety. Forty percent said a stable power supply and 16 percent said cost. For a more in-depth look into the issue, I earlier spoke with NHK World's Takafumi Terui. We've seen a lot of polls in the past about nuclear power in Japan. Mm -hmm. How's this one different? Yes, um, researchers use something called deliberative polling. Um, they chose participants randomly and then they ask them questions before and after the debate. The method is designed to show how discussions can change people's opinions. Deliberative polling is said to allow participants to address an issue more deeply than ordinary polls, which require people to express their views based on insufficient information. The Japanese government has introduced the method with a view to reflecting um, what the so-called the silent majority thinks about the nuclear energy. What kind of changes did researchers see before and after the debates? Well, um, as you mentioned, uh, almost half of respondents, or 46.7%, ended up saying Japan should completely get rid of nuclear power. Before the debates, that number was 32.6%. That's a difference of 14 percentage points. On the other hand, the percentages of people who supported the two other options 
for reliance on nuclear power didn't change that much. Mm. In short, uh, the poll suggests the number of people who put priority on safety increased after the debate. I guess the big question is how will the government incorporate the poll results into crafting its new energy policy? Mm -hmm. uh, the government solicited public opinions in two other ways. Officials organized hearings in 11 locations nationwide, including Fukushima, to ask people about the three options for nuclear supply. The government also invited citizens to send in their views via fax and the internet. It collected more than 80,000 comments. It's assigning a panel of experts to analyze all the opinions. The government plans to finalize the energy policy by the end of this month based on the panel, panel's analysis. But business leaders are voicing skepticism. They say the government didn't give much thought to the impact the three options could have on the economy. On top of that, um, Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda's cabinet remains divided on how to reflect public opinions on this issue. Some ministers say working out the details of the energy policy could drag on into September. Authorities in central Japan have been rehearsing their response to a terrorist attack on a nuclear power plant. Nearly 20 organizations took part in a drill at the Niigata Prefectural Government Office. The participants included police and self-defense force personnel. The drill scenario had terrorists using explosives to attack the Kashiwazaki Kariwa plant, causing power outages and possible radioactive leaks. Participants practiced gathering information to assess damage. They also rehearsed issuing evacuation orders and helping residents leave. Officials say the prefectural government hopes to strengthen cooperation between the organizations.
Simi, they won't die. In fact, that'll be our motto. They won't die. <laughs>